again, Mr. Wilmot. I hope you had a good Halloween. Hey, Mr. Hotfield. Did you brush your teeth after eating all that candy? I think I ate too much candy for Halloween. I love the Butterfingers and the Almond Joys and the Heath. Mmm. But I forgot to brush my teeth. Uh-oh. How do they look? Hey guys, we're gonna get into throwing skills. And there's two types of throws. So we're gonna go into the two different kinds of throws and do some skills uh, the next several weeks that involve throwing. So, the first throw that I would like to talk to you about is called the underhand throw. Um, this is done in games like cornhole, uh, softball has underhand throwing, bowling has underhand rolling, bocce ball. There's a lot of picnic games um, that we play, like ladders that have that underhand throwing. Um, technique. So here's how you do the underhand throw. Uh, first of all, you're going to hold the ball in any kind of throw in your dominant hand. For me, I throw with my right hand. So I'm going to hold it here. You're going to put the ball by your pocket so it stays down low. Uh, not to be confused with overhand where you're keeping it up high. So underhand throw, you keep the ball by your pocket. Now, since I'm holding with my right hand, I'm going to step with my opposite side foot. So that's my left foot. So I'm gonna step forward with my left foot and the ball is still back by my pocket. I bring it back and then I release and I point to my target. So I'm going to hold the ball, dominant hand, step with my opposite foot and point as I throw the ball. View. Step with my opposite foot. How's that? Do an underhand throw right above your head and catch it. Underhand throw right above your head. Watch the ball. We did a little bit of this in the last lesson last week. So opposite foot in front, just focus on the opposite foot in front. You're tossing up over your head, so you point up. And if you're inside, obviously, um, watch the ceiling. If you're using a, a paper ball or a sock ball, um, that might be better than a tennis ball you know, inside your house. Um, I highly recommend go in your yard and practice this. When you do an underhand throw, your belly button is facing your target. You're stepping towards your target. So if I'm stepping towards you on the screen, if, you're my, if you are my target, I'm stepping towards you. My belly button is already facing you. Again, I step with the opposite foot and I point to throw the ball. So my belly button faces you the whole time. Before you just start throwing the ball, go find a good wall to throw the ball against. Ask mom and dad if it's okay to throw the ball against that wall. Make sure there's no windows or anything around. Um, you should not be using a baseball or anything hard anyways. Uh, just a tennis ball. You know, tennis balls in this case are going to work better because they will bounce. But make sure you ask and find a good wall and ask for permission. I'm here in the music room. I'm about to throw this ball against her wall so I get a good bounce. So I'm going to step on my opposite foot. Oh, hi, Mrs. Buckley. Mr. Wilmot, what are you doing? I was just about to throw this tennis ball against your wall so I can catch it. Um, this is not the PE room. Oh, okay, I'll find somewhere else. I'm about to throw it against the art wall. So remember, step with your opposite foot. Here I go. Please! Oh, oh. What? Yeah. I'm about to throw it against the... No, no, take it outside. Uh -uh. Oh. Okay, Not here I go. Oh, hey, Vice Principal Hinton, I'm going to throw this ball in okay. your office. No. Is that okay? No, no, I need no, no, a good no. Ball. no, no, outside. Not oh. in here. Okay, I'll go somewhere else. Bye. 
Oh, I'm in the clinic right now. Maybe I can throw it against the clinic wall. Oh, absolutely not. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no. there's <laughs> Edwards, hey. You guys might not know uh, Mr. Edwards. He's uh, in the clinic this year. So no, no hitter? No, absolutely not. Oh, uh, I'll go somewhere else. Okay. Okay. Ooh, maybe I can throw the ball in the office and bounce it off this wall. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you do that. What? Oh, okay. I'll go somewhere else. Hey, I'm in the teacher's lounge. Maybe I can throw it at the wall while these teachers are eating lunch. Don't throw the ball against the wall. What? Don't do it. Don't do it. You have to go outside. Oh, outside. Okay. Hey, I'm here in the library at Bay Meadows. I found this cool spot that I can throw at. Look at this minion. I'm gonna throw the ball there. Step with the opposite foot and then get ready to throw it. I'm gonna throw it in this minion's mouth. Whoa, whoa, Mr. Wilmot, what are you doing? This is the minion. We put our books in here. We have to be very careful in the library where we put our books. Oh. This is a safe place. You need to go outside to throw the oh, ball. I'll go somewhere else. Ask your mom or dad uh, where you can throw the ball. Uh, get that underhand throw and work on throwing it towards the wall. Now, obviously it's gonna bounce back. So you wanna be probably about five steps back. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to lightly toss it to the wall, step in with your opposite foot, let the ball bounce off the wall, and then catch it. So if the ball is low, catch it with your fingers down low, pointing down. If the ball is coming at you high, put your fingers high. So again, pick your wall, bounce it, and then you're going to catch the ball as it comes back. If you throw it too hard, the ball will bounce too hard and it will be impossible to catch. It will pass you before, before you have time to do it. So just nice toss so it bounces back to you. Now as you're practicing the underhand throw, pick a target that you're going to try to hit. So not just anywhere on the wall, a specific spot on the wall. If you don't have a spot on the wall, uh, naturally or a spot where you can say hey this is my target I'm gonna try to do an underhand throw and try to hit that um, go ahead and get a sheet of paper tape it to the wall that you're using that has been approved by mom or dad and do an underhand throw so now my belly button is facing my target and I'm going to try to hit that target for me my target is going to be the Orlando Magic pennant right here and if I hit that, I've met my mark. Uh, so my belly button is facing that target. I'm stepping towards that target. And boom. So I'm trying to hit the target. Now, you can make this easier if you're having a hard time by getting closer, or you can make it more challenging by backing up. Let me back up a little bit more to make it more challenging for myself. <laughs> Overhand throw is typically used if you want to throw the ball faster or if you want to throw it further. If I'm close to you, I'll do an underhand throw to you. But if I'm far away from you, I'm gonna do an overhand throw. When you're overhand thrown, you are not going to face your belly button towards a target right away. You put your front shoulder towards your target. So if I'm throwing that way, I'm gonna keep the ball in the back. My belly button is facing this way, perpendicular to my target. My target's over there. So for you younger students, I always have a little saying, make a T, keep the ball in the back. So T, as I step forward with my right foot, it's also my opposite foot. See, I'm holding it with my right hand and it just stepped with my left foot. 
It happens to be the front foot, so that should make it easy for you. So for you younger students, T. Now when I step, look at what happens to my arm. It kind of makes the letter L. So T, L, twist. Twisting is how you get some power. And you're gonna push off that back foot. So T, L, twist and throw. For you older students, you don't have to break it down so much. You'll still do those steps. You just do it more uh, quickly. So it's still the same steps. You're still putting your front shoulder facing your target. If you want to point to them, you can. Uh, the ball is in the back. You bend your elbow. Elbows stay about shoulder level. Don't put your elbow down because you're not throwing like this. You want to keep your elbow up. Step toward your target, twist, and throw. At this station, go to your safe wall that you've been given permission to use by your mom or dad and work on an overhand throw against the wall and then catch it as it comes back to you. I'm gonna do it left-handed so I can see the the camera. So, do it. T, L, twist and throw. Then it's going to come back to you. Bend down. It was low, so I have my fingers down low. Should have a ground ball coming back to you. Make it a ground ball coming back to you. So throw the ball. Let it bounce off the wall. Step in with your opposite foot, hand is back, and then catch the ball. Watch the ball with your eyes. You're always watching the ball with your eyes. Step in with your opposite foot. Always try to catch it in front of you. So bend your knees, bend your knees and try to get in front of it. Don't try to catch it to the side unless you absolutely have to. So find a target that you can throw overhand to. Uh, for me, I'm gonna use the basketball hoop here and throw it towards the basketball hoop. And my goal is to hit that and let it bounce back to me. If you don't have a specific target, a hula hoop or you know something to throw, just get a sheet of paper and tape it to the wall and that will be your target. So that's fine too. Again, we're doing overhand throw. So the ball starts in the back. So the ball starts in the back. I keep it back away from my target. I'm pointing to my target, step with the front foot, which is my opposite, twist my hip, and then throw. So it bounced right back to me, and now I can continue to try to hit the target many times. Or well, your target's like mine. You got a, a wide target, but within your target, you have a little square, so that makes it even more of a challenge. Boom, hit the little square. Now you can make this easier or harder. Uh, to make it easy, scoot up closer. To make it harder, back up further. Let's back up even further. Half court, baby. Let's go full court. Oh, did you see that? Oh my God, I made it. That gave me a good idea. Let's go into your yard or into a field and let's see how far you can throw whatever type ball you're using, whether it's a tennis ball, a sock ball, whatever ball you're using, um, go into an open field and see how far you can throw. So if it's, o it's okay to get a little uh, step before you throw, um, but again, if you're still learning, uh, I'm throwing the ball that way, so I'm not gonna face that way. I'm putting my body to the side, my ball is gonna be in the back, and I'm gonna throw it out as far as I can.
count how many steps away you were able to throw at that time so you'll know what number you're trying to beat. So you get one point for every step that you have to go when you're retrieving. Let's count how many I got. I got 33 steps, so 33 points right now on that. I'm gonna keep doing it several times and let's see if I can beat 33.